has a removable monitor for use in tight spaces. Um, you can pull it where you need to be, or if you're outside and you've got a little bit of glare on the sun, um, you can position it how you need. Or it's a ten and a half inch display color monitor, 98 feet of cable with a self-leveling color camera head. Simple, easy to operate menu system. I'm going to turn it on and hit menu. First thing you're going to want to do is look at your um, system settings. You can set your date and time. Very simple. Everything is left and right, up and down. Go back up. Today is the 12th. And hit the enter button again when you're done setting. Languages. Enter. And again, it's just a um, up and down, choose your language option. If we wanted to turn to uh, French, we can do that. Hit enter, and we're in French. And it will take it back. Obviously, you've seen our menu settings have changed to French as well. So hit enter, go back up to English, enter, and now we're back in English. Um, you can change from black and white to color. You can set an automatic shutdown. It'll tell you when to, in order to preserve battery power. So you can do active or inactive, active, and then it'll tell it 10 minutes. So we can select active and enter. And now it's going to automatically shut down every 10 minutes. Um, enter or inactive, and it will not automatically shut down. You will have to power off your OCAM 3. Unit of length, meters or feet. And that's it for menu options. Very easy, simple, up or down, yes or no, enter. You're not going to be able to um, take video or photo until you install the drive. I've got this down a two inch line. You see my business card at the end. Plug in the USB. And we'll be ready to go. The menu. You'll need to create a directory when you first turn on your Rocam 3 and install the USB. So choose create a, director, create a directory and hit the enter button. Select yes. The camera head is color and self-leveling. If you see on the monitor here, I'm actually turning the cable head, the camera head upside down. Um, but the picture is constantly right side up, so it's constantly adjusting itself, and that's um, the self-leveling up is up feature. So as you can see, there's an on-screen distance counter. As I release the head and feed the cable, I'm going to count. the camera also has a zoom feature plus or minus so we can get closer as we need or further away as we need and we can also adjust the brightness okay to take a still image you hit the menu button capture and enter here we are this will toggle between video and still so as I choose select the video and still you'll see it changing on the menu button so that is a still photo. I'm going to hit the enter button. You'll see the red light up and also the USB will light up to tell you that you've captured your image. To view the image, menu, down to playback and enter and it'll list your files. Select it with the enter button and there's the image that we just took. One of the key features of this camera that you're able to do is actually store common um, obstruction or inspection notes. So if you, you go to the image that you have created, playback, enter, select your file, enter. If you go to menu, there's something called defect catalog. So use your up arrows and select that. We have a list of common 
of common findings, a foreign body, a free foreign body, a fixed foreign body, a blockage, a pool of water, um, etc. So I want to say in the photo that we just took, we had a pipe break. Hit that, enter, and it'll bring us back to our saved image with that logging software or that preset um, diagnosis that we've logged. The RoCam 3 also films, um, does video. To create a video, it's very similar to the way you created an image, menu, capture, and this button here will toggle between video and still. This image will change from a camera to a video camera. So I'm going to hit it once and I've changed to video. When I hit the enter button, you should see the red record light light up and then you know we're recording. Blinking, we're in record. I'm down a line. We found it looks like somebody's pen. So I'm going to take a video as I feed my Rocam 3 down through. We're going to pass that pen. Continue to feed until I hit uh, my instruction. And you can see there's a business card at the end there. Up is always up. We can get as close or as far away from it as we need. It feeds very easily. Once you've finished recording your video, you would view it in the same way that you would view a still photo. Hit menu playback, and select your file. Hit the play button, and you'll watch the video that we just took. Hit your press play. There we go. And there's our card. So what we have here is a simulated drain line. I've got um, the end over there capped off with plexiglass and that'll um, simulate our obstruction. So I'm going to feed the ROCAM 3. It's got a 3 8 diameter cable. It's very flexible yet also sturdy. Um, we have a 90 degree turn here. We're going to make that turn with no problem. As I feed the camera head, it just made the turn. And I'm going to push until I, I hit my obstruction. So if you look at the camera itself, you see I found a pen. Pull it, get closer. And then I'm just gonna feed until I hit my obstruction, which I've reached the end. You see my business card there? Or I believe Brian Wilson's business card there. When you receive your ROCAM 3, the sonde, which is going to emit the signal if you need to locate, is not going to be installed. It's a very simple installation. Unscrew the camera head. Place it gently. <laughs> and you're going to screw on the transmitter. Reattach your camera head. It's very important that you get a nice tight fit because you don't want to get any water in here, obviously. And now you have a camera head with transmitter for location. The camera head is waterproof and it's also scratch and impact resistant. Um, we know what those lines look like and oftentimes plumbers are not as gentle with their tools as they should be. Um, not to say that the camera head is going to withstand all brute force, but it does have some scratch resistant and impact resistant qualities. So we have our ROCAM 3 underground in a line. The transmitter is connected and it's emitting a signal. We want to find that camera head. So now we have the ROLOC locator, part number 69606, and our ROSCOPE 1000, part number 69600. I'm going to turn the locator on. And the ROCAM 3 is actually a 33 hertz signal, so we're going to have to change that. Most are typically set to 512. Very easy menu setting. Hit enter once you're on the little signal. And the right and left buttons are going to change it um, from 512 to 33. Hit enter. In menu. 
turn the volume on. We're going to the sound and then enter and right or left to turn it on or 50%. Back to menu. And the Roloke is actually going to tell us which direction to turn. So as I turn away from my camera head, it's telling me to go right. As you can hear, the signal is the sound is getting more steady, more clear. I'm right on top of it, and it tells me I'm at 100%. Hit the enter button, and it'll also give me a depth reading. Okay, so as you can see, it's saying I'm seven inches away from my camera head. I've got a solid sound, which tells me that I've hit my mark, and I've located my head, and I can start digging.